our motto is uh, to go beyond. We want to do the impossible in the sense we want to go beyond what others have done. We want to push the boundaries of science and we want to create entirely new materials and devices that could in the future create new technologies that can change the world. We collaborate with our colleagues here so that we can reap the benefits of all of our facilities and share our expertise. The Max Planck Institute allows me a lot of flexibility to combine research and also family life. And I'm a theoretician working in an experimental department and this gives me the, the chance to discuss with many experimentalists to change my perspective on the science. We have unlimited resources and unlimited support from our director and from the institute. We create these materials one atomic layer at a time. These materials then have fundamentally new properties, so we're interested in exploring these properties, but we're also interested in using these materials to create entirely new technologies, particularly in the domain of digital storage and computing. Whether this be problems of data storage or even to wider issues like the climate problem or our recent pandemic, there are all these huge grand challenges within the world and I like to think that the research I do could play a part in one of them. Well, this institute, I believe, is really exciting for young people, for PhD students and for postdocs because we've created an entirely new suite of capabilities over the last five years in which we can create new materials by atomic engineering, we can explore their optical, magnetic and transport properties. We have a small clean room where we can build devices using state-of-the-art electron beam lithography and maskless optical lithography capabilities. We can grow virtually any material conceivable uh, within the Institute, anything from insulator to superconductor, 2D materials. We can make any sample that you can think of and then investigate it and use it for new devices. We want to imagine ways of building devices that can think the way we think and can carry out certain types of computation, solve problems as efficiently, energy efficiently, as our brains. We want to go beyond charge-based electronics to use currents of spin-polarized electrons. And by manipulating these currents, again, we can build devices that have properties unlike any other and can carry out memory operations or computing operations very energy efficiently. Currently, we are developing novel devices and architectures for neuromorphic computing in our institute. By developing this advanced neuromorphic computing architecture, we can save a lot of energy in our daily life. Nearly all computing and memory devices today are innately two-dimensional. We want to build innately three-dimensional devices to enable us to improve and expand the capabilities of computing and memory devices in particular. The research that, I, that I'm working on is in collaboration with Samsung Electronics. It really goes from fundamental studies to real applications. We are actually working on creating novel information storage devices that could see the light very soon. I come here because the Max Planck Institute of Microstructure Physics is a world leader in the spintronic devices, especially in racetracks. People here make 2D racetracks with exotic materials, and I have experience in freestanding heterostructures. So I want to combine my experience with the technique here to build 3D racetracks. In our super track project, we want to tune the interface such a way that we can create new exotic phenomena. We need experts from different fields. We need experts from superconductivity, magnetism, materials engineering, device fabrication, and spectroscopy. And good thing about NPI Halle is that you can find all these experts under one roof. The racetrack memory and superconductivity are actually two different research fields. To combine these, we need a really unique research environment where we have the capabilities and actually the independence to explore the Department of Nanosystems from ion spins and electrons under Professor Stuart Parkin is actually the only place where you can realize supertrack. Whenever you break new ground, there are new challenges. One challenge is in creating the materials that we need to create future technologies, but also to characterize these materials. And uh, finally, to understand the data that we collect about these materials. So this is why it's important to bring together people with various different types of expertise to create kind of a unique team and environment that can essentially tackle these challenges. But we want a multicultural institute where we take advantage of the different ideas and uh, thinking 
of people from all over the world. And this is why we have people from uh, Asia, from the United States, from all parts of Europe working together in teams in highly interdisciplinary science. And this is what we think is really important to create new ideas, have new thinking, and go beyond what others have done. Als Physikerin bin ich hier genau richtig und ich freue mich darauf, mit dir zusammen zu forschen. Come and join our fantastic community of international researchers. So for those of you interested in carrying out cutting-edge research, potentially with impact on technologies in the future, please come and join us here at the Max Planck Institute of Microstructure Physics in Hull. You're all very welcome.